Welcome to this new video tutorial. In this video tutorial I will demonstrate some new features related to the texture distortion in Microsoft Flight Simulator, in the latest Microsoft Flight Simulator. As most of you will probably know, uh, textures can get distorted in MSFS uh, when they are tiled or the UV mapping is outside of the, of the sort of normal range of 0 to 1. Uh, in this tutorial, I will not explain the technical background why that happens. You can read more about that in the background information section uh, of the manual of Model Converter X. But in this tutorial, I will demonstrate how you can inspect uh, if your model is likely to have the distortion and what you can do to fix it. So in this tutorial, I will use this aircraft model, which was provided by a user of FS Developer to help and test this new feature. And as you can see, it's a, it's a nicely textured model, but after converting it uh, to a package with the package tool, the texture mapping suddenly looks like this, which looks quite ugly, to be honest. Um, you can see there's a lot of distortion. The mapping is completely messed up. So what can we do about that? Let me load the input model again. Um, so yeah, how can we see if this model is likely to have uh, distortion? One way to do it is in the hierarchy editor. You can click on the model part and oh, if in the options, like here in the general settings, display vertices is true, all of the vertices will be shown here. And if you look at the TC here, which stands for texture coordinate, here you see there, there are texture coordinates like 29, 54. So they're well outside of the normal range of, of 0 to 1. And this model was made with SketchUp, and that tool has a habit of messing up the, the texture coordinates a bit. So that's one way to see if your model is likely to have these issues, by looking at the vertices. A second way, and that is something I've added in this new version, is a new shader that will show the texture distortion, how much distortion there will be. And as you can see, it, yeah, the more red, the more issues with distortion you have. And as you can see here, this model is almost completely, completely red. So uh, that explains why we see a lot of distortion after making the package. So with this new shader mode, render mode, you can inspect your model. And if it shows up completely white, then you should not have issues with the distortion, and if it has a lot of red like this one, then it has. Let's go back to the normal model. So what can we do about it? Uh, for that, we have to go back to the hierarchy editor, and there a new feature has been added, uh, which sort of normalizes the texture coordinates. So it tries to move them back to the 0 to 1 range if possible. Uh, if textures are tiled, of course, that cannot happen, but sometimes they just uh, they just have an offset to the UV coordinates, and that can be corrected with this function. So in this case, I can right-click on the model part, and then there's a normalized texture coordinates. This function might take a while, so it takes a little while to calculate, because it has to update all the, uh, all the vertices. And now it is done. Let me close the hierarchy editor again. And if we now go back to the texture distortion shader, you will see it's all completely white. So the model is good now to, to go, basically. And I guess the proof of the pudding is in the eating, as they say. So let's export this model again. Uh, to MSFS, I'll do save. Ah, well, while well, it's saving and it's actually also compiling the package, let me, that's another new feature that I've added. Let me go to the options and show you. In the exporter settings for the, um, MFS, the machinery package writer, there's an option to automatically compile the package after save. Uh, it, it is a relatively slow process. Starting the FS package tool is, is, is really slow, but sometimes it can be helpful to directly try to compile your package. Um, and if this is set to true, then of course you need to have the FS package tool uh, path set as well. This should be automatically detected based on, on your SDK installation. 
So now it is moment it is compiling the package and it's done it says but I well let's see uh, I didn't save the textures so I think it will have gone wrong yeah I messed up with the textures this time um, let's do that again so we'll very quickly load the model again I'll go to the hierarchy editor and I'll normalize the texture coordinates. Let's wait until that's done again. Okay, it's done. Close the hierarchy editor. I will Let's see, package sources. I'll save all the textures in PNG format in the package source folder. Save. And if I do export package again, it should hopefully work. Now it's compiling again, so we have to wait for that. Uh, one thing you might notice, and I haven't been uh, able to find a workaround for that, is that the, the, the output of the FS package tool, so the, the sort of the progress that it normally shows in your command prompt when it's compiling, is not being captured by model converter X. Um, I'm not sure yet why. I'll hopefully later I can capture it. But uh, So therefore, that information is not shown here in the log. But it shows that it's starting to compile the package and it will give another message when it's finished with compiling the package. So let's just wait for that, uh, that finished message in this case. And it's done compiling. So if I now go back to the output model lib, you see that in the package now the texture mapping is as it should be and not as distorted as it was in the beginning. So just a quick wrap up. Uh, what has been added with this latest update of Model Converter X? An ability to see if your model is likely to get texture distortion. The hierarchy editor can uh, normalize the texture coordinates to minimize the texture distortion. And there's an option now to automatically compile your package uh, when you export the package. I hope you like these changes and if you have any questions about them, feel free to post them in the forum. Thanks for watching.